in order, uh, regardless of how much money you have in the bank or how much money is attached to your name, because we cannot control troubles that come into our life, because we cannot control stuff and situations that come into our lives, each one of us at some point is going to reach what I call low points or places in our lives where we break down. How many of you would agree with that? Amen. We come to places in our lives where we struggle with our faith. I don't care who you are, how big you are as a Christian, how anointed you are, how much Holy Ghost you have, how many times a week you come to church, how many times you fast and pray. We all, say everybody, yes. say every Christian, yes. will come to a point where it will be a very low place in your life. It will be a place oftentimes where you'll struggle with your faith. You'll struggle with your will to persevere and go on. That's a given. And so because we know we're going to have these low points and these breaking points in our lives, we know David did. David came to a point. Uh, David came to a lot of low points. Not just one, but a lot. Elijah came to a major one. The major one that I can remember with Elijah was when he got under the juniper tree and just said, God, just take my life. He was so depressed and so low at that time. We know Joseph, you know, his family sold him into slavery. But, but everyone come to that point. But if you plan to be successful, and if you plan to experience a good life, you cannot simply accept what you're handed in life and say, well, you know, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it's going to be. But I've learned to look at the hand that has been dealt to me at a particular time in my life, and regardless of how bad that hand looks, I say to myself, I can win with this hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care how bad your hand looks. You can still win with the hand you've been dealt. Oh, how many of you believe me? Yes, you can. Oh, my God, I've been down so many times. I've been in places where I'm like, see, I didn't always know to have a breakthrough mentality. And so there have been times in my life when I've been, I'm talking about uh, just dragging the bottom. But somewhere on the inside of me, something rose up on the inside of me and said, girl, you can win with this hand. You can win against the odds. Amen. Because like David, God has taught me to look beyond my immediate circumstances, that low place, that breaking place, or that broken place in my life, He's caused me and taught me to look beyond that place into my future. And he's taught me to keep advancing toward what God said is my true reality. How many of you know that there are two realities? There are two truths. We've learned here at For His Glory that there are two truths. There are natural truths and there are spiritual truths. We know that it was a natural truth that Jesus was the son of Mary. But it was an even greater truth and a greater spiritual reality that he was the Son of God. It may be a natural truth that you're at the lowest place that you've ever been in in your life. It may be a natural trace, uh, a truth that you are in a place where you are so broken and so weary and so broke that you don't know what to do. But an even greater truth is the spiritual truth, and that truth is that God, the God you serve, is able to cause all grace to abound in your life. That you always have it, all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every good work. Hallelujah. So like David, I've learned to look beyond my immediate circumstances and look at what God said was my true reality. Because what God said is my true reality. Lift your hands all over the house and say, what God said is my true reality. 
is the truth to me. And that's the reality, that when you have a breakthrough mentality, that you and I have to learn to walk in. That's what I'm walking out right now in my life, by faith. Therefore, when I come to those low places, when I come to those breaking points in my life, instead of breaking down and staying down, I break through that awful, ugly place that I come to because this is not my true reality. It's simply a temporary condition. It's a temporary setback that I learn to overcome how? By faith. So the first point that I want to make today, component number one for having a breakthrough mentality is that regardless of the hand that I've been dealt, a breakthrough mentality knows and has the attitude, I can win with this hand. Hallelujah. I want you to lift your hands and say, regardless of the hand that I have been dealt, I can win. With this, with this hand. Now turn to somebody else and tell them, say, regardless of the hand, of the hand that you have been dealt, you, have been dealt. you can win, you can win. With, this with this hand. How many of you believe that? <laughs> they let you go on your job, you can still win with that hand. Guess what? Juanita Bynum, she can win with the hand she's been dealt. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We all get humiliated in our lives. Some of you have been humili humiliated. It just wasn't public. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But you can still deal and win with that hand. So in Psalms 27 and 13, read that with me. David said, I had fainted or I would have fainted unless I had what? Believe. Say believe. believe. To do what? To see what? the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In other words, David looked at the hand that he had been dealt. He looked at the hand. And at that time, how many of you know that it didn't look good? Because he was in a very low place. He was in a very broken place in his life. But he said to himself, in spite of the hand that I have been dealt, I can still win with this hand. Come on, say it again. Say, I can still win with this hand. So why did David have that attitude? Because his faith was not in his natural condition, but it was in the spiritual reality of the word of God and what God had said about his life. See, if I'm looking at my circumstances all the time and looking at what's going on before me, I'll tell you sometimes life can dish you up an awful hand. How many of you know that that's the truth? Sometimes it looks like, God, I'm not going to come through this place. Sometimes it looks so ugly, so off, but how many of you know, like we said last week, regardless of what comes, I'm not going down like this. See, I've made up my mind, I'm not going down like this. Why? Because, number one, Jesus said in John 19 and 30, before he died, before he bowed his head, he said, it is finished. So in other words, any situation, Sister Sherlyn, Minister Sherlyn, that you face, it's already finished. It's just a matter of you breaking through into that place that God said. But the reason that many of you never break through, and it seems like, God, this is just a hard life, and if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. The reason you feel like that is because you give up before you break through. When God has already finished the course, already made provision for the place that you're in right now, whatever you're faced with, it is finished. It's finished. My God. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. 2 Corinthians 5 Five and seven, five and seven. Because what separates the ones who break down and stay down 